this is Brian Perry with the Florida Aviation Network. Uh, once again at Sun and Fun 2023 at the Aerospace Expo. Today we're meeting with uh, Lieutenant Colonel Retired, Mr. Mark Reneld. He's uh, here, he was flying an O2 today, and but his real mission here is, is to relay the story about his father that he's learning more and more about. Good morning, Mark. Thank you very much for being with us. Oh. Uh, great, to, uh, great to be here. Um, please tell us about your experiences here at Sun and Fun, the reception that you're getting with all the your, your talks and everything, and and uh, have you came up with any other leads while here? Um, yeah, we uh, it, the experience here. Everybody's doing uh, wonderful work. They're uh, very uh, helpful on helping me get the work out. As you know, part of the talk here. Uh, Larry, who owns the B-25 behind us, uh, set this up, and I'm just trying to uh, get a better feeling by being around the O-2, getting to fly the O-2, to get an idea of what was going on when my father was flying it in Vietnam. Okay, great. And, and I heard a little bit of your story, and uh, it sounds like it's been something that you've been working on ever since he, he, the, the door knocked. Well, uh, basically, you know, the door knock happened. There was a, a lack of information for years that was going on since, uh, you know, he was missing in action. And actually, it's not until the last four or five years that things started picking up, particularly with the new uh, uh, organization that's going out trying to find not only remains of Vietnam veterans, but World War II, Korea, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm now starting to get the information and reading stuff I had put away to get a better idea of what was going on. And this is a huge help flying today to understand what he was, what he was doing. That's great. Uh, did they have any recorded of the radio conversations? You know, because uh, it sounds like he was, he was busy doing stuff, but... You know, there, there, uh, we were had, had rumors years ago that there was some recording of it, but uh, over the years that that didn't happen. I was just it's just uh, uh, reports that the different people, the forward air controllers, the rescue people, uh, said what they heard. Okay. So some of the the big news you said in the last year or so, they actually found uh, the downed aircraft, uh, his rank, and uh, and you're you're expecting more news shortly. Exactly. Uh, uh, a little over two years ago, they, they found the crash site and found enough to say, okay, this is the airplane. We are now going to come back and do an archaeological dig. Uh, they just don't plop down and start looking for that because of the cost. So once they knew that, uh, last year, January, February, they went through their dig. It's uh, 60 days, which is pretty significant. So they obviously either found something or thought that was, that, that was an important time. And they finished up, and uh, uh, the report said that they found things like uh, uh, shoulder harness, flight glove, you know, some radio parts, helmet parts. And uh, then, as I mentioned in the talk in December, they provided uh, our family with his lieutenant colonel rank that was on him when he was shot down. Okay, great. That's a sad, but uh, at least it's better than not knowing. Uh, a, f a friend of mine who went through this thing two years ago says, Mark, initially it's hard to get your head around it, but he says it's, it's good in the end. And I can see that. And yeah, it's, it's kind of tough to get your, your arms around this, your head around the whole thing, but yeah, it's, good. Okay. it's good. Well, as a possibility, if someone should see this and thinks they know information, do you want them to try to contact you? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, when we were just here before we started, a couple of O2, uh, O2 pilots. Uh, yes, I would love to hear that kind of information. I'd hope, and judging by their ages, that they might have been uh, during that time frame. But yeah, certainly, I would, I would love to. Do you want to give an email address or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, my email is uh, mwrenelt at earthlink.net. Okay, great. And we'll, we'll put that on under, under the screen also, so uh, there are the comments, because if we help each other, we could oh, do absolutely. a lot more. And, and, you, and you never know when somebody's going to come up with a, a missing piece. Yeah. Life is just a puzzle. It's finding all the pieces, and absolutely. somebody has one in their back pocket that they don't realize. Absolutely, absolutely. So. Well, well, Mark, thank you very much for spending some time with us. We yes, appreciate uh, your efforts, and I'm glad it's working better for your family. Uh, enjoy Sun and Fun and find lost compadres or 
lot of forgotten competitors like your former uh, JetBlue, right? Yes, and uh, and uh, you never know who you're going to run into sometimes. You never know. You never know. So, yeah, I, I appreciate the time here. My, my pleasure. And once again, this is Brian Purdy with uh, Mark Winall at uh, Sudden Fun 2023, uh, the Aerospace Expo. Have a great day.